Hello and welcome to Student Chambers. Today we will be looking at the introduction to SI units. So our learning objectives will be what does SI units stand for? And we will also identify SI units for various electrical quantities. SI units, they stand for the International System of Units, which is a unit of measurement that is part of a system used for scientific and technical work all over the world. Imagine if every country around the world had their own unit of measurement. Would this be an advantage or would it create barriers to international trade? So what do you think? If let's say the UK has its own unit of measurement, America has its own unit of measurement, and the Asia Pacific has its own unit of measurement, do you reckon it will be beneficial or create a disadvantage? So imagine if we had kilograms. We measured weight in kilograms in the United Kingdom and if you were to go to America they had another unit of measurement. So when you start looking into it it would start making the simplest things more complex. So to benefit all the countries around the world the international system of units is used throughout. So when we measure kilograms, meters, square meters so the unit of measurements are the same so our next activity following this there will be five pictures each of the pictures will represent one of the SI units so what I would like you all to do is make a note of our five SI units KG M S M squared and A I know some of you might be new into SI units some of you may have come across SI units and some of you may be very familiar with SI units just take the next few minutes to work out what they stand for. Kg, M, S, M squared and A. Okay, so let's put this into practice. The following is an example. So the photo that we have here, is it representing KG or M? KG stands for kilogram and M standing for meter. So with the lady holding the weight in her hand will represent approximately 20 kilos. So the next activity is will be similar to this format where you will be shown a picture and you have to decide which one of the five SI units apply. So in this picture here, which one of the five SI units that we identified earlier apply? So we have a book, we have a pair of glasses, and we have a pocket watch. Our SI unit of measurement, S, and what do you reckon this stands for? Seconds.
Now we have this lovely night picture here. Can you guess which city this is in? I'm sure the buildings give it away to you guys. So, which unit of measurement do you reckon we're looking at here? And to give you a hint, it's the lights. How much current do you reckon the lighting will take up? A will stand for ampere. We have this lovely room here with a fantastic view. So in this room here, now as trainee electricians, as electricians or apprentices, why is it important to work out the square meter of the room? Now, if you were to look at your on-site guide, you can work out what the minimum amount of sockets that you must install in a room based on the room area. Now, as you know by now, I try to throw a curveball in most of my lessons. With this picture, it represents two potential SI units. Which one do you reckon this is referring to? And I know it's a, it's a curveball, you can have two answers to this. But it would only be one. Our SI unit here is M for meter. Now, last but not least, we have our final picture which I'm sure this gives it away easily, KG. So here we have a chart which will tell us the different sort of quantities, the quantity symbol and the unit symbol and what they measure. So current, our unit symbol is ampere, voltage is volts, resistance is ohms. So just take a few minutes to study this. You can always come back to this page here or pause the video so you can make a note of this. But it is important that you all try to remember the unit symbol, the quantity symbol, and what quantity they apply to. Because this is an exam favourite. Time to test your memory. What is the unit symbol for voltage? I'm sure the picture has given it away. V for volts. What is a unit symbol for current? A for ampere. What is the unit symbol for resistance? Ohms. What is the unit symbol for measuring matter in a body? What do you reckon? Kilogram, kg. We have some scales here. What is the unit symbol for the measurement of heat? What do you reckon? Kelvin. What is the unit symbol for the amount of space that is enclosed within an object? Q. 
cubic meter and this is the formula for how you work out cubic meters length in meter multiplied by width in meter multiplied by height in meter so make sure you all try to remember the formulas because in your exam this could be two marks you may get one or two questions and you do not want to miss out on that mark what is the unit symbol for the number of cycles that occur each second think about when you first connected a computer whether it's your playstation or xbox to your tv or your nintendo it may have been a long time ago but what does it ask you how many hertz is your TV running at? 50 hertz or 60 hertz? What is the unit symbol for the capacity to do work? Joules. Work done has the same units as energy. This is because energy is the ability to do work so you must have the energy to do work in practical terms if you don't have the energy you can't do the work this is how you calculate the work done what is the unit symbol for measuring the area of a room square meters what is the unit symbol for measuring the distance traveled in a Bugatti Veyron now, it was getting to that point in time, it was very late, I was tired, to keep myself amused I put a Bugatti Veyron. Meters per second squared. And our formula triangle lets you work out how we work out distance travelled. So to work out a distance, it's speed multiplied by time. Okay, so make sure you write, take a note of the formulas, which is very important. So we have come to our end of our video. Thank you for watching and I hope this helps you with remembering SI units. We have a few more videos to follow. So if you find this video helpful, please share it and subscribe to our channel for the latest videos. Thank you very much. And I look forward to all your comments. Bye.